Yay! Hi everybody. This is Coach Laura teaching her dog's tricks because she's bored at home. So what else better way to spend your time with your furry friends again? And she's having a good time. Our dogs are learning some amount of obedience, but then not so much. Maybe if I get treats, I can teach Laura some tricks too. <laughs> Anyway, good to see you. Good to have you back with us. We're going to have Coach Mark talking about open turns today. So, butterfly, breaststroke, I am turns. Make sure you tune in and watch that. That's going to be really important technical stuff that's going to help you with your swimming. Then, Coach Mark Walshauser is going to bring us Tabata Speed. It's a hard workout, guys. I warning you. But it's going to really get you tuned up, really help you work out all of your body, total body workout. Then we will see you at the end after the dry land. Hey, Coach Laura. Go, go. go. Hey, Chattachi Gold Swimmers and Parents. It's Coach Mark here today talking about open turns. Open turn, that's the exact opposite of a flip turn on freestyle and backstroke or flipping into the wall. On an open turn, we are going from one stroke to another with a two-hand touch, okay? That's the way that this works. So today, here's my plan. I'm going to go over about six different parts. Swimmers, I want you right now to go and get a sheet of paper. Go ahead. When you're back, let me know. You can even pause it. And we're back. So get your sheet of paper, and let's take a few notes on each one of these things. If you guys are really going to learn some stuff over the next couple of weeks, it's important that you take notes now because the stuff I'm going to talk about today, you'll have to practice it in the pool. The only way to practice it in the pool is to remember it till we get back in. And what you'll need to do then is take notes to make sure you understand it. Okay, so we're going to talk about the steps to doing a good open turn. The first thing that we need to make sure of when we do an open turn is we need to make sure that the approach is really good. The approach. That means as you approach the wall. Here's what I'm looking for. This is my wall right here in front of us. When I approach the wall, I'm going to come in. I'm going to lower my head all the way down so that it's looking straight down. Fingertips touch the wall flat like so. That's the approach. Do not, under any circumstance, come in with your head up like this and your elbows bent like so. That would be a poor approach. So if you're doing breaststroke or you're doing butterfly, come on in, two-hand touch, Touch the wall with your arms straight, stiff arm the wall even, stiff arm the wall, and keep your eyes pointing down. That's just number one, so that's the approach. Let's talk a little bit more about that touch that we did. Of course, we do a two-hand touch on breaststroke and fly. Hands come in, touch the two hands with those heads down. But here's the important thing. Do not grab onto the wall. Do not grab onto the wall. When your hands come in, don't grab onto the gutter and lift your head and body up. That's what will happen if you grab onto the wall. What you have to do is you have to touch the wall flat, all right? Touch the wall flat with your hands like so, okay? And then you imagine that the wall is on fire. It's scalding, it's burning. I want you to make sure that when you touch the wall, you're trying to get your hands off as quickly as possible, but I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so we've got the approach, we've got the touch, and then the next part is the tuck, the tuck, okay? What you're gonna to wanna to practice when you guys get back in the water, or if you've got access to the pool, a, a little tiny pool or even a hot tub in the next little bit, okay? You can practice this. I want you guys to hands on the wall, flat, not grabbing on, and you're going to tuck up both of your legs as quickly as possible. Knees up as fast as you possibly can. Hands on the wall, you can practice this with your legs out behind you. Hands on the wall and tuck. You're trying to get your hands onto the wall as fast as possible. Tuck, all right? When you do that, of course, you use both legs and you're trying to tuck those legs up. Notice what happens to my head when I tuck. Watch, tuck. Nothing, <laughs> nothing happened with my hands. Biggest mistake on open turns, a swimmer touches, they've got their head down, and as they tuck, their head comes up. That is a big no-no. So no go on that, keep the head down on the tuck. All right, next part is the elbow, the elbow. Here's what you do. Our head's down, our face is looking down, our hands are on the wall. We're going to tuck 
And then at the same time, we are going to elbow or karate chop back with one arm. Here it is. Ready and go. Ready and go. Boom. Think about karate chopping back. Hiya! As fast as you can with your hand. Make sure that that hand comes back behind you as quickly as you can. Notice how I'm actually doing a straight arm sort of movement with my elbow back. Boom. Okay? So that's the elbow part. The elbow part. Make sure that when you come in, touch, head down, tuck, and elbow. Okay? All right. Next part. Roll and pick up the phone. Roll and pick up the phone. This is the first stage where you actually roll upwards, take a breath, and then your hand will come up to pick up the phone. Here's the way it looks. You guys ready? Touching, head down. We're going to bring our knees up. We're going to do the tuck part, elbow part, and then at the same time, we're going to use this hand right here to pick up the phone. You can bring your hand to your ear. Here it is. Ready and go. Boom. Here it is again. Ready and go. Right there, okay? When you pick up the phone, make sure that that one hand comes right to your ear, right here, okay? Okay, so that is the roll and pick up the phone. The last part of this is the push, the push, okay? When you guys get to the part where you're looking upwards, right here, your head will be barely out of the water, You've karate chopped, you pick up the phone, then you're going to push into your streamline back behind you, okay? When you do that, try to get into that streamline as quick as possible. Try to hold your streamline as your body rolls onto your stomach, okay? Body needs to roll onto your stomach before you do a pullout or anything like that. That's a big rule, so keep that in mind, okay? Okay, so let's refresh. We have approach. We have touch, we have tuck, we have elbow, we have roll and pick up the phone, and then we have the push, those six steps. Like I said, if you guys get a chance to practice these in a smaller body of water, that would be a good thing to do. So try to do it that way, okay? All right, so one last little part to this whole talk, okay? We're gonna talk about I am turns for just a second. I am turns. Let's talk specifically about the back to breast turn, because this is something I get from, from swimmers all the time. They're like, how does that back to breast thing work? So let's talk about it just briefly. When you come into the wall on backstroke and you're going on a breaststroke and an eye, you have a few choices. You're touching the wall like so, okay? Your head is looking up, and at that point, you can do a few different things, all right? Here is the basic one. The basic one is that you touch, your head is up, and what you do is you bring your legs upwards, and you just push off onto your other side. So touch on your right side, push off onto your left side. That's the basic one to do. And guess what? Olympians do it, a lot of swimmers do it. It's great, it's a very good way to do that, okay? Option number two is what's called a crossover turn, a crossover turn. If you wanna spend a little bit of time today, go look up a YouTube video of how to do a good crossover turn. But the key part that I want you guys to make sure that you understand on a crossover turn is you have to touch with your top arm instead of the bottom arm coming into the wall. Touch with your top arm, and then we're flipping forward. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of practice. So if you think you wanna do this crossover turn thing, you're gonna to have to practice it every day, in practice, every chance, okay? So think about it that way. Here's what probably not to do. I really would discourage you swimmers from trying to do any sort of uh, what's called bucket turns or backwards flips. That's where you would touch the wall here and bring your legs up and over. That's kind of a worst of all world scenario where you don't get a very big breath. So that's not a good thing. And you have to do it very, very fast to be almost as fast as just doing the regular one. So when you guys do your IM turns, let's either touch and get on your other side or let's try to practice that crossover turn. I think I'm gonna do a whole nother video on crossover turns so I can show you guys some of that. That's all I've got for today. I hope you guys took notes, read over your notes again, and then we'll practice it once we get back into the water. You guys take care, and I'll see you soon. Man, I'm super bummed out about having to do school at home, listening to my mom and dad teach me stuff that they don't even know what to do. Can't see my friends. I can't see my coaches. Those are my favorite people in the world. What can I do to cheer me up? Hmm. 
Let's see. I got it. Let's go do some Tabata. But oh wait, how did I get here? Start here with our dynamic warm up. We're gonna start with Frankenstein. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it all. If you don't have a place to go outside, you don't have a yard to do it. Maybe if you do it inside, you don't have the opportunity to be in the fresh air like we have right now. I'm gonna start off by showing us how to do it by standing in place. And then I'm gonna do what the workout calls for. So we're gonna start with Frankenstein's down and back. You guys can kind of pick. I don't know, this is probably 25 yards about. So somewhere around that distance. So think about the length of our short course pool and that's how far we wanna go down and back. So Frankensteins, we wanna make sure we are stretching the back of our legs. Those are our hamstrings. I'm gonna start with our standing in place. So you wanna start by trying to kick your leg up in front of you, trying to keep that leg as straight as possible, okay? So as we are going down and back, for those of us that have an opportunity to go outside, people standing in place can go ahead and do it for that amount of time. All right, Frankenstein's down and back. Trying to touch our toes. Remember, we're not walking and then doing it. Each step, we're gonna do a Frankenstein. Feel that stretch in the back. Get up on our toes a little bit. remembers 25 yards is 75 feet so if you really want to measure it out and get fancy you can go ahead and do that we're gonna move on to butt kicks down and back again this isn't just a run like we normally would you want to actually make sure you're getting up and trying to touch your heel to your butt okay they should be small short strides really trying to focus on stretching out our thighs getting our thighs nice and warmed up or our quads nice and warmed up here we go and we're standing in place, just gonna look like this. Everybody else, about 25 yards down and back. some point PE practice whatever it may be common mistake I see is some of us that are just trying to learn it we kind of just go over or we're kind of just going under so this is actually to loosen up our hips stretch out our hips which is something a lot of swimmers need we want to think about over under over under so for silver silver advanced group whatever it, whatever it may be you can go ahead and take your time with this we'll give you a little extra rest at the end try to just figure it out and try to figure out how to do it. So, standing in place, it's gonna feel a little bit weird, that's okay. It's gonna look like a dance or something like that, but do that as we're going down and back. So karaoke, down and back. Okay, now remember, you wanna face that same direction. Okay, you don't wanna change up, you wanna loosen up the other side. Next part, get our heart rate up a little bit. Go ahead, jog down and back, jogging in place. We've all done it before. It's gonna look like this, just not too fast, okay? 
jog down, jog back. Next part, speed it up a little bit, get that heart rate up even more, get that blood flowing. We're gonna run down and back again, running in place. Don't have the opportunity, it's just gonna look like this. Run down, run back. Okay, good. So this is also part of our dynamic warm up here. Even though we're not really focusing on push-ups, upper body or anything like that. We're gonna go ahead and get everything nice and loosened up here. We're gonna start with arm circles, 10 front, 10 back. We want nice long, big circles, not, not T-Rex arms. And remember, this is dynamic warm-up for everything that we are doing. Regardless, if we're doing push-ups, we're gonna do this for sit-ups, legs, everything like that, even when we're doing our cardio days. Now we're gonna go 10 back. We want this to look like thumb out, pinky in, just like backstroke. For me, it's not really gonna look like that, unfortunately. Lost some shoulder mobility, but you wanna try to reach behind us as far as we can and really open up those shoulders. Next part, we're gonna move on to some arm swings. So in and out 10 times, just like Michael Phelps does. And good, now we're gonna go to 10 torso twists. We wanna make sure we're going all the way through both sides, not just moving our arms like this, like a speed walking contest. So 10 of those, I'm on four. And good. That's gonna conclude our dynamic warm up. Now this is just the warm up, just part of it. If we ever feel like we're going too fast, you can always hit pause, do the exercise, watch me do it, then get back in with us, okay? Oh. All right, magically I'm back here now. We're gonna talk about what is Tabata. We've, we're warmed up now, we've done our dynamic warm up, whether it's outside or in our house. Now we're ready to go. So Tabata is basically gonna combine our body weight exercises and aerobic work together. So body weight would be lifting our own body weight, whether it be a push up, a squat, a lunge, using our own weight. And then aerobic is kind of what we do in the water where we're, getting blood to all sorts of all parts of our body and you're getting that heart moving heart pounding uh, for the entire workout so it's going to be for gold advanced and below you're going to do it the exercise for 20 seconds and then you're going to rest for 10. if you're sectional and above you're going to be doing the exercise or the work for 40 seconds and then taking a 20 second rest so it's not too much rest the work or the exercises is about double the amount of rest you have so it's gonna get your heart rate up, it's gonna to be tough, it's gonna to be challenging, but that's okay, that's really what we want. So at the end of this, after we go over, we're gonna work on what the exercises are, what they should look like, how are they gonna help us. I'm gonna prescribe for Gold Advance and below how many times you go through this after we do a dry, one, a dry run and then a run through at real speed. And for sectional advanced and above, I'll go over how many times you need to do it because obviously 30 seconds of work and rest does not equal the minute that sectional and above is doing. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so here's our workout for the day. If you wanna go ahead and hit pause, so you can go ahead and zoom in, take a screenshot and see what the workout is, get it written down so we can go ahead and go through it, go ahead and do that now. Now, as I said before, goal advancing below, you're gonna do 20 seconds on of the exercise and then 10 seconds rest sectional and sectional and above. 
you guys are gonna go 40 seconds on with 20 seconds rest. Now that little star down there says maximum effort while doing your exercises. That is what we want. We want fast, uh, perform the exercises as fast as you can for the entire duration or the entire time of uh, work we have. So how the 20 seconds or the 40 seconds depending on what group you're in. Now, we wanna make sure we are doing proper technique. We're gonna go ahead and run through technique really quick here, but we also want it to be fast. All right, so what we need for this video, we're probably gonna need water, something to drink when we have our rest, and I have my iPad here so you guys can use your phone, a clock, watch, whatever it may be, to time our intervals. So we're gonna go ahead and do a dry run here. This is for everybody, we're not gonna do, you know, 20 seconds or 40 seconds. This is just to show everybody our exercises and how we need to do them. So first one up, if you remember from the pause video, we're going to do push-ups, 20 seconds or 40 seconds. As you can tell, the first interval I always say is going to be for goal advancing below. The second in, uh, interval is going to be for sectionals and up. So 20 seconds of push-ups. Now I'm going to start from if we're a little bit younger. So maybe we're silver group, silver advanced. Maybe we can't do push-ups for 20 seconds straight. And I want us to make sure we go down on our knees here and we're gonna do kneeling push-ups, okay? It's okay if we're not doing regular push-ups, I'd rather have us do them correct instead of doing them incorrect. So sometimes I see when we can't do push-ups, we have our hands way out here and we do our neck ups like this. We're really not working the proper muscles. We always wanna make sure you have your hand right underneath your shoulder, straight line, hand underneath my shoulder. And if we're on our knees, all we're gonna do is rock back and forth on them, rock forward, go down, push up. Rock forward, go down, push up. Makes it a lot easier because we're able to use our body the whole time with that momentum that we have. Now, if we can do them on our toes, perfect. So we wanna go right up on our toes, hand underneath our shoulder. We're gonna simply push up, push up, and good. 20 seconds, 40 seconds, Rest, goal advanced and below, 10 seconds, 20 seconds of rest for sectional and up. Next exercise will be burpees. Everybody knows what burpees are, but one trick, something we need to make sure we're focusing on is as we go down, kick those feet out, drop that chest down, kick up, and we're, I'm gonna do a mini jump there because I do not wanna hit my fan. On our jump up, we wanna make sure we're in that stream on all the way up, jumping with a good jump as high as we can go. So. That's our burpee there. Everybody can do those. 20 seconds or 40 seconds. We're gonna rest for 10, 20. Next exercise will be lunges. Now, we wanna make sure we keep a nice, tight, squeezed base here. So our abs, our torso, just like we're doing a plank, that's gonna help us keep us upright, looking up, and we're not gonna do lunges like this. That's not really working the correct muscles if we do that. So. First thing, we want a big step out. We don't want that. That's not, a, that's not a lunge. It's not gonna work all of our muscles, especially back here in our hamstrings and our glutes that we really wanna work. So we want a big step out, step forward, down. You don't wanna jam that knee into the ground. Nice and controlled, you're gonna push up from your big toe and the balls of our feet. So the balls of our feet, like if we're trying to stand on our tippy toes, that's what the balls of your feet are. That's what you really want to push off from. So with my left leg here, big step out, down control, my chest is up, my head is up, up. Right leg now, up. Left leg again, up. Keeping your abs still will also prevent us from looking like this. Squeeze those abs, we don't want to lose our balance or do anything like that. So that's basically what our lunge is gonna be, 20 seconds or 40 seconds. Rest, 10, 20. Then we'll move on to squat jumps. So nice and self-explanatory. We wanna make sure we're not just jumping from our toes. We're not doing a little half squat. We wanna make sure we're squatting all the way down, jumping up. Again, I didn't jump, I don't wanna hit my fan. Make sure we are in that streamline, just like we're doing a turn off of the wall or a start. That's gonna, this is where this applies out, out of the water for in the water when we can get back in there. So squat jumps all the way down, jump up in a nice tight streamline. 20 seconds, 
40 seconds. Rest for 10, 20, then we'll move on to sit-ups. So we're not gonna do crunches. We're not gonna have our feet in the air or anything. Feet are gonna be flat. We're not gonna be grabbing our neck. We're trying to do neck ups like this. We're gonna simply have our legs in a 90 degree angle. We're gonna have our hands back here. We're not gonna throw our hands up to help with momentum. Simply keep your hands here. You're gonna sit up, touch the top of your feet. That's a wrap, slowly. Let yourself come down. Don't go like this. Keep everything nice and still. Again, controlled but fast is really what we want to do in Tabata. Here's a bad example. Or I see this. We're trying to grab our legs to help ourselves up. That just means that our core isn't as strong as it should be. Good rep here. Good. So that'll be 20 seconds on, 40 seconds on. You'll rest for 10 seconds or 20 seconds. Then we'll go on a plank. Again, a plank and a push-up are a very similar position. Now, if you don't have the opportunity, we want to make sure we're on our elbows. And again, just like our push-up, that elbow is right underneath our shoulder. It's not out like this. No butts are up. So one thing I like to say when we're doing uh, dry land outside with my groups, is I want to be able to eat my dinner off of you flat, like a table. So, if a table is like a mountain, probably not going to be able to balance my plate on there. But if it's nice and flat, I can put my plate on your back. That's what we want. Squeezing your abs, squeezing your glutes, which is your butt, squeezing your legs together. A great plank, you're actually going to be shaking. Your muscles are going to be shaking because everything is tense. That's good. We want a good plank like that. So, here is a... Bad plank, not really doing anything. This is, again, that's a bad plank. You're not actually even squeezing your abs at all. You're barely off the ground. That actually hurts my lower back a lot to do that. Elbows right underneath, hold, squeezing. I'm trying to be as flat as I can. My head's not down, my head's not like this. Up and straight, head proud, squeezing everything. That's a good plank, 20 seconds. 40 seconds, rest for 10, rest for 20. That is one complete cycle for either if you're doing it 20 seconds on or 40 seconds on, whatever it may be, that's one. Okay, now this is gonna be a real run through here. This is exactly how we wanna do it. If you're in gold advanced and below, you're gonna go through this whole set six times. So that means push-ups, rest, burpees, rest, lunges, rest, squat jumps rest, sit-ups rest, and planks rest, you're gonna do that six times through without stopping. It's gonna get tough, it's gonna be challenging. Push yourselves for 20 seconds of the exercise, 10 seconds of rest. Now, if you're in sectional and above, go ahead and you can skip through this next three minutes or so, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go through your run through. So, go advanced and below. Let's go ahead and get your clock out. Go ahead and get it started. I'm gonna have mine right here. Okay. First exercise, we're gonna go ahead and do push-ups. Starting in three, two, one, go. Make sure you keep an eye on the clock the whole time. About halfway through. Five seconds. And rest. So rest for 10 seconds, burpees now. Remember, I'm not doing a full jump. Make sure you guys are doing a full jump here. Two, one, burpees. Ten seconds. Two, one, stop. Rest for ten. Into our lunges, fast. But control five seconds. Go. Halfway. Five seconds. A couple more. And rest. 
it up, guys. 10 seconds. Five left. We're going to do our squat jumps again. I'm not going as high as I can. Go. Five seconds. Get a couple more. Rest for 10. Sit ups now. Go ahead and get ready. Starting in five, two, one, go. Keep it up. Want to go fast? Five left. A couple more. Rest. All right, going to our plank. Five seconds left. Go. Five seconds. Two, one, rest. So that's gonna be one time through. That's full. If you wanna keep looping that through, go ahead and do that. But you got five more times. Let's get to it. Nice. All right, sectional and up. We're gonna go ahead and start your Tabata here. Again, 40 seconds of exercise, 20 seconds of rest. You're gonna do that. We're gonna go through everything. So the push-ups, the rest, the burpees, rest, lunges, rest, squat jumps, rest, sit-ups, rest, and plank rest three times. So after I do it once, you got two more times, no stopping, as many reps as you can do with great form. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and start in a second here. Get your watches out, get your water ready for the rest. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and start. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Make sure we're keeping our eye on the clock. Way. Keep it up. Try not to stop. Do the best you can do. Got about 10 seconds. Five. Rest. 20 seconds of rest. Burpees now. Again, I'm not doing my full jump. Make sure you're doing a full jump with extension. Five seconds, two, one. More than halfway, keep it up. Ten seconds. A couple more in here. Five. Two, one, rest. Lunges now. Seconds. Two, one, go. Remember, trying to get as many in as you can. Halfway. Stop. 20 
second rest here. Squat jumps. Keep it up, guys. Nice job. About halfway after this. Two, one, go. seconds. Five, a couple more. Rest. Get your sit-ups here. Ten seconds. Two, one, go. Halfway. Ten seconds, a couple more. And rest. Now we get ready for our plank. Here, then we'll do this two more times. Keep it up. Two, one, go. Keep squeezing. One halfway. Don't let those hips drop. Don't let your hips go up. Ten seconds. And rest. Okay, let's take a 20 seconds rest there. Go through that a few more times. Awesome job, guys. Keep it up. I'll see you on the next video. Hey, Coach Laura. Man, that was such a workout. Where did you feel that the most? My legs. Oh man, I felt it all over. That was a wicked workout, Coach Mark. But I hear you and Coach Hunter are gonna be bringing us cardio, core cardio tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Yes. Okay, what is that working? Your abs and your legs. Okay. Yeah. And sounds like your heart too. Hope I don't get a heart attack from that one. But I'm gonna try and do it. I think I should be able to manage. After that workout today, should be able to manage that one. I hope you enjoyed Coach Mark's talk about open turns. And tomorrow, we're gonna have Coach Corey talking about backstroke starts. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for backstroke starts with Coach Corey and cardio, core cardio with Coach Laura and Coach Hunter. All right. Go, go, go. go.